lot of other stuff I would love to talk to you about, about the metaverse, uh, especially the Kodak avatar, uh, which I've gotten to experience a lot of different variations of recently that I'm really, really excited about. Yeah, I'm about. excited to, to talk but about that too. I'll, I'll have to wait a little bit because, um, uh, well, I, I think there's a lot more to show off in that regard. Uh, but let me step back to AI. I think we've mentioned it a little bit, but I'd like to linger on this question that uh, uh, folk, folks like Eliezer Yudkowsky has to worry about uh, and others of the existential of the serious threats of AI that have been reinvigorated now with the rapid developments of AI systems. Uh, do you worry about the existential risks of AI as Eliezer does, about the alignment problem, about this getting out of hand? Anytime where there's a number of serious people who are raising concern that is that existential about something that you're involved with, I think you have to think about it, right? So I, I've spent quite a bit of time thinking about it from that perspective. Um, the thing that, that I, where, where I basically have come out on this for now is I, I do think that there are, over time, I think that we need to think about this even more as we, as we approach something that you know, could be closer to super intelligence. I just think it's pretty clear to anyone working on these projects today that we're that we're not there. Um, and one of my concerns is that we 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 spent a fair amount of time on this before, but there are more. Um, I don't know if mundane is the right word, but there's like concerns that already exist, mm -hmm. right? About like people using. AI tools to do harmful things of the type that we're already aware, whether, you know, we talked about fraud or scams or, or different things like that. Um, and that's going to be a pretty big set of challenges that the companies working on this are going to need to grapple with, regardless of whether there is an existential concern as well at some point down the road. So I, I do worry that to some degree, you can, people can get a little too focused on on some of the tail risk and then not do as good of a job as we need to on the things that you are can be almost certain are going to come down the pipe as um as as real risks that that that, that kind of manifest themselves in the near term so for me i've i've spent most of my time on that once i i kind of made the realization that the size of models that we're talking about now in terms of what we're building are are just quite far from the super intelligence type concerns that um that that people raise but but I think once we get a couple steps closer to that um I know as we do get closer I think that those you know there are going to be some novel um risks and issues about how we make sure that the systems are safe for sure I guess here just to take the conversation in a somewhat different direction I think in some of these debates around safety, I think the concepts of intelligence and autonomy or like the 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 being of the thing, um, you know, as an analogy, they get kind of conflated together. Mm -hmm. And I think it very well could be the case that you can make something and scale intelligence quite far, but that that may not manifest the safety concerns that people are saying in the sense that, I mean, just if you, if you look at human biology, it's like, all right, we have our neocortexes where all the, the thinking happens, right? And, and it's, but, but it, it's not really calling the shots at the end of the day. We have a much more, you know, primitive old brain structure for which our neocortex, which is this powerful machinery, is basically just a kind of prediction and reasoning engine mm -hmm. to help it kind of like our, our very simple brain um, decide how to plan and, and do what it needs to do in order to achieve these like very kind of basic impulses. And I think that you can think about some of the development of intelligence along the same lines where just like our neocortex doesn't have free will or autonomy, um, we might develop these wildly intelligent systems that are they much more intelligent than our neocortex, have much more capacity, but are, you know, in the same way that our neocortex is sort of subservient and mm -hmm. is used as a tool by our our kind of simple impulse brain. It's, um you know, I think that it's not, 
out of the question that very intelligent systems that that have the capacity to think will will kind of act as that is sort of an extension of 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 the neocortex doing that. So I think my, my own view is that where we really need to be careful is on the development of autonomy mm-hmm. and how we think about that. Because um, it's actually the case that relatively simple and unintelligent things that have runaway autonomy and just spread themselves or, you know, it's like, we have a word for that. It's a virus, right? It's, I mean, like it's can be simple computer code that is not particularly intelligent, but just spreads itself and does a lot of harm, um, you know, biologically or computer. And um, I just think that these are somewhat separable things. And a lot of what I think we need to develop when people talk about safety and responsibility is really the governance on the autonomy that can be given to, to systems. And to me, if, you know, if I were, you know, a policymaker is, or thinking about this, I would really want to think about that distinction between these, where I think building intelligent systems will be, can create a huge advance in terms of people's quality of life and productivity growth in the economy. But it's the the autonomy part of this that I think we really need to make progress on how to govern these things responsibly before we build the capacity for them to make a lot of decisions on their own or or give them goals or things like that. And I think that that's a research problem, but I do think that to some degree these are are somewhat are somewhat separable things. I love the distinction between intelligence and autonomy and and the metaphor with the neocortex. Thank you.